And now, first warm five weather with meteorologist Samara Kokinos. The time on this Wednesday morning is 6.43, and we're starting with a live look at traffic at the corner of Jackson and Nolana in McAllen. Not much ha happening out there. Traffic is starting to build up a little bit at this hour, and you can expect your normal day-to-day -day, uh, build up. But other than that, really not much going on. Going back to the map, let's take a look here at your visibilities. And uh, I'm not seeing much fog just yet, but the potential is there uh, to see some patchy fog development uh, this morning through about sunrise and a little bit after that. And then after that, we're looking at partly sunny skies. But visibility is good to go out there between 9 and 10 miles. Temperatures 75 in Brownsville, 77 in McAllen to 73 in Harlingen and 78 in Port Isabel. So very warm start to the day. Your dew points, yes, they're in the very humid category in the mid to lower 70s. We have a very light east southeast wind in place and the winds will stay out of the southeast today but pick up about 10 to 15 miles per hour. High temperatures, 94 degrees is where we're headed, 10 degrees above average for this time of year. And when you look at the record here in Westlaco, it was set in 1927, 92. It looks like we could beat that today. And we're not the only spot. Let's put the high temperatures here on the map along with the records in yellow that you see. So we'll range from highs uh, on the island 87 to 91 in Brownsville, 93 in Harlingen and Raymondville to 94 in Westlaco and at Edinburgh, 96 in McAllen to 97 in Rio Grande City. Now looking at these records, looks like McAllen and Westlaco could be the record breaking breaking areas today, but Harlingen and Brownsville get pretty close to that as well with all the records in the mid to lower 90s. So uh, yeah, very hot day and regardless if it's record breaking heat or not, it's going to feel very hot out there because we have all that lower level humidity to still deal with, so to feel like triple digits this afternoon. Doppler network, or rather the future track model, shows that we could have an isolated shower or two around this morning and then again this afternoon. It looks like the best chance is over Cameron and Willisee County, uh, but the could press spread a little bit farther west today, so I can't rule out showers in the upper valley as well, but it will be later in the afternoon and again very isolated activity. The setup across text that shows that we have a stationary front to the north, not really doing anything, but we continue to pull in all that lower level moisture and we do have a cold front on the way. It's a very weak front, so ahead of that, we're going to pool up all this moisture, and that's how we increase our rain chances tomorrow. So we're looking at a 50% chance for rain tomorrow. Then that weak cold front just kind of fizzles out, doesn't really do much in terms of bringing temperatures down, but it will bring our dew points down over the weekend, so it makes it feel a little bit more comfortable. We'll have lower 60s for dew point values, while temperatures remain around average uh, over the weekend. And if you're headed out to the coast today, no advisories out there, but there is a moderate root current risk today and their moderate chop on the bay with near shore waters ranging between two and four feet. Remember at high tide at 746 tonight, if you're on a narrow strip of beach that the waves could come up to or the tide could come up to the dunes, so that's still possible. High temperatures 94 today go into 88 tomorrow, so the cloud cover and rain brings temperatures down a little bit. Friday, we have a 20% chance for rain going down to 10% over the weekend. 85 degrees is where we'll be at by day and a mid to upper 60s by night. Don't forget to set your clocks back one hour Saturday night before you go to bed. The time changes at 2 a.m. and we're falling back, so you get that extra hour of sleep. As we head into next week, a few showers are possible. We bump up your rain chances to 30%, so you may need to carry the umbrella out to the poles. Your temperatures will be in the mid to upper 80s and your overnight lows still remain in the upper 60s. That's your updated first warm five forecast. 